Hey guys, good morning everyone. My name's Jared. This is another casual coffee chat I like to do in the morning, just kind of off the cuff, just running through a few things, seeing how everyone's doing, that kind of thing. Today was another busy day in the two lands world. Um, I'm about to hop on a Zoom call with uh, Assad. Assad is part of the team. He's our solidity guy. Um, and he's just fantastic. I, in fact, let me tell you a little bit about him. Um, well, the quote of the day, let's see, what's a good quote? I know a lot of quotes. The quote of the day, and I think that poss possibly would tie into this, is the soul, of, the soul of a man is greater than his fate. So a little bit of backstory on Assad. How, we didn't know him. And in the process of getting this project started back in, you know, late December, you know, mid-December to late December, we started interviewing anyone and everyone uh, in the field, basically, to get an idea uh, of who we needed to work with and who we wanted to work with, right? We've been very selective about that. Um, Zach and I are firm believers that we need to um, gel with someone um, in order, you know, that's the very first thing before we, we start to work with someone. So in any event... We were interviewing various companies that, um, you know, that, that are in the blockchain community. Uh, a lot of them now are starting to get to diversify where they'll do multiple things, multiple facets within the community in and of itself, between the PR, the marketing, you know, the, the, you know, the, the smart contracts, um, you know, that kind of stuff. But, you know, and that always kind of tends to um, not maybe nervous, but it's a red flag for me because we like to deal with with companies that are specific um, because we feel like, you know, if a company does one thing right, they're going to continue to do that one thing right. But when they spread themselves too thin, obviously, uh, that could be problematic. It's better to do one thing fantastic than, you know, 10 different things just pretty good or OK. So one of the times we were interviewing um, one guy and he was one of these guys that led this team supposedly that he had a big team and they did a lot of different facets of the community and we were still learning and still educating ourselves of, in, in how that part of the industry works. And he told us he had this genius guy that could write these smart contracts like no other. I said, okay, um, you know, so the next step was to set up a call with him. Now, one of the things Zach and I also believe in is we need to look someone in the eye. So if we're going to do business with someone, we want to meet face to face or at least do a Zoom a Zoom call because we want to look them in the eye and we want to see, you know, what they're about and what kind of passion they have for the project, if any. In fact, um, you know, typically in our interview process and we kind of do it for everyone, we ask a lot of questions because um you know, we like to get into people's motivation, that kind of stuff. So a lot of times we have, ask qualifying questions. Um, I'll grab my coffee. This is a coffee chat, by the way. Um, you know, one of the qualifying questions we typically like to like, excuse me, like to ask is, um, you know, what are you most proud of or what kind of projects are you most proud of that you've done or that you've developed? And it's really a two part question because, um, it's, it's a good gauge of what they specialize. Um, but perhaps more importantly, you get a sense for what kind of passion they have in the projects they've worked on. And that's probably the most important. So that said, he put us in touch. Um, well, we, we did a group zoom and Assad was on the call and it was a great call. It lasted a while, but Assad and I quickly realized that this other third party was just as, acting as a middleman, and and I and it was a little uncomfortable at first because Assad realized that we realized that they really weren't a team. He was just going to hire them to do the smart contract, and he was trying to keep it keep it on the hush. So because of that Zoom meeting, and because of the email chain in that Zoom meeting, um, I later reached out to Assad privately and said, "Hey, look, I'm not sure what's going on here. Something feels a little funny. You seemed fantastic." We'd like to talk more, and then which we then had our own private Zoom chat, and then in which it came out that yeah, he was just um, he was uh, you know he was asked to do a project basically for hire, and he was willing to do it, but um, he wasn't in fact part of the team, so he was acting as a freelancer for that project. So I found that a bit disingenuous, and then we stopped working with that other guy. But then we said to Assad, "Hey man, we really like you. We'd like to work with you," and you know we had further discussions. And 
that led us to the fact like, hey, look, we don't just want you to be our solidity guy. Like you could add value to this project in so many other ways. So, um, so ever since then, he's been part of the team and we've been talking almost on a daily basis and uh, man, we couldn't be happier and we couldn't have gotten luckier. So, and, and with that, you know, he's now created two digital assets for us. Our first one, our, our two lands token, our TLT governance token and Faro our uh, it's already finished our, our second, you know, digital asset, will, which will act as a rewards token and integrate with the DAO and, and also function with TLT the governance token and I can't wait to share all that because it's already finished and how it works is just incredible. Um, but in that, I know this is going too long, so I'm going to sign off. But anyways, I'm going to go meet with Assad, talk about some security measures to um, put into place so that everyone's protected. Everyone, you know, make sure everything, um, you know, all the, the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed um, because that's the most important thing, right? When you're, when you're dealing with people's money is safety. So I'm going to go hop on that. We're going to be doing a ton of marketing stuff today as well. Got some legal stuff back that early in the morning I haven't looked at, but it came in when I was sleeping. So I'm going to check that out. We should be finished with some aspects of that. And it's going to be a great get, It's going to be a great day. It's finally not raining, which is fantastic here in Connecticut. So with that, I'm going to sign off. Guys, go enjoy your afternoon and uh, go out and help someone make a difference. And we'll chat tonight or tomorrow. We'll talk to you soon. Be well.